Hello and welcome to my first look at a new Warhammer Horus Heresy Primark novel by David Annandale. Uh, this is Mortarian, uh, The Pale King. We've never had a Mortarian Primark uh, novel before, so I've been really looking forward uh, to this. I've read The Buried Dagger, I've read uh, a number of short stories uh, about Mortarian and his origins, but now we get a, a novel that's just about him. I recently uh, finished Alpharius and thought that was a fantastic book by Mike Brooks. I'm looking forward to the Dawn uh, Primark novel and also Sanguinius as well. This Primark novel, like most of the others, uh, will cost you £12.99. And speaking of the others, they are lost out in the void to be reclaimed and found by uh, the Emperor. You've got more chance of going out there and actually discovering, rediscovering the actual Primarchs than you do picking up the novels. Um, I don't know what's going on with Black Library, Games Workshop. They kind of just don't care anymore. It's really pretty, it's pretty sad. They don't care about the paper quality and they don't care about, you know, the rest of the novels in the Horus Heresy set. They, they just care about what's new and what's upcoming um, and uh, special editions and anniversary editions of books that have already been out. They, it, it's a shame. It really is. So let's uh, read you the uh, preface. Once uh, the Gaspar system suffered under the cruel regime of the Order, billions of people toiled endlessly to enrich their masters, enduring short lives of poverty, squalor and fear. Uh, but Galaspar's sins did not go unnoticed by the Imperium, and so death itself sentenced the Order to annihilation. Mortarion, newly uplifted to commander of the Death Guard, descended upon the world and with him came a slaughter of untold proportions. The sheer brutality of Mortarion's campaign left the Imperium appalled. Seeking to understand its horrors, two noble primarchs have come to Galaspar, summoning their brother to account for his actions. But the Pale King brooks no challenge to his methods, for when the scythe falls, it reaps the gruesome toll. Um, so, number of pages, I'm thinking it'd be about the 200 mark. Uh, without sort of spoiling it too much for you. Uh, another extract for Sigismund. There's been quite a few extracts of John French's novel in, in the recent novels. Uh, anyway, 182. So it doesn't quite meet, you know, the, the 200 pages of like Alpharius and Valdor and things. Um, but it is certainly up there. Take you a couple of days or so to read, I guess. Um, you've got the Horus Heresy. You've got the Primarchs. You've got. A, you've even got a list of all the books. This is this is why what disappoints me. You've got a list of all the Primarch novels and uh, their titles, but you can't get hold of them. It says also available. Uh, it doesn't have a list of all the Horus Heresy novels, which yeah, the Siege of Terror books do. This was first published in 2022, um, and it kind of yeah has the Death Guard uh, school symbol and it goes through different numbers of the um, chapters. The page quality is quite nice. Uh, it, it's similar to the Alpharius novel and the Valdor novel, I, I want to say. Um, I'd have to go and grab them quick and, and just test it, but it's not too bad, the paper quality, uh, for this one. So yeah, that is Mortarion. Um, I will be covering Death Guard uh, Halloween time, <laughs> end of October. Uh, so that's probably when I'll start uh, reading this book. But I'm looking forward to the Death Guard content because I do have a large uh, Death Guard 40k army and I don't really have a single uh, Horus Heresy Death Guard miniature. Um, so finally I get to uh, start um, Death Guard for the Horus Heresy and I look forward to bringing you all of the content. Anyway, what do you guys think of uh, Mortarion, the Pale King? Uh, please do put your comments down below. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching Death to the False Emperor.